Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Red 5 Reviews. Today I'll be discussing my first, but definitely not last, Star Wars video game on this channel. Today I'll be reviewing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. The game was released in 2019. It was developed by Respawn Entertainment and published by EA Games. This will be a spoiler-free review. But with that said, let's do this. The story revolves around Cal Kestis, a former Padawan of Master Jaro T'Pol. After Order 66 was commenced, Cal witnessed his master being killed by clone troopers, barely escaping himself. Cal's fallen master gifts him his damaged lightsaber before his final breath. Cal goes into hiding for several years and eventually works as a scrapper. He is soon discovered after he uses the Force to save a friend of his. He is almost captured by the Imperial Inquisitors, but is rescued by former Jedi Seer Junda and her companion, Captain Grease of the Mantis. Cal, Seer, and Grease then depart on a quest to discover the whereabouts of a holocron that can lead them to the locations of Force-sensitive children so that they may train a new generation of Jedi, but they are consistently pursued by both the Empire and Bounty Hunters. And now for my thoughts. I really enjoyed this game. Now, this isn't my favorite Star Wars game of all time, but it's definitely my favorite game set within the new canon. The story is engaging, and even what is now my fourth run through, I'm still invested in every minute. This game is not only a journey for you as the player, but for the characters as well. I thought it was very interesting seeing the main characters both dealing with the trauma of the Purge and having to rebuild their connection to the Force. There's a story of redemption in this game as Seer attempts to make up for her actions that inadvertently led her Padawan to a terrible fate. Now this game is definitely not a button masher type of game. The main character does not actually start out very powerful, so you have to work to build your strength in the force and with a lightsaber, which was an aspect I personally really enjoyed. There are quite a bit of times in the game where you actually have to strategize against your opponent and plan your attacks because one wrong move can get you killed very easily. I love the strategizing, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't frustrate me from time to time. Another part of strategizing in this game is that when you save the game at various meditation spots, you can heal yourself and upgrade your abilities. But healing yourself comes with the cost of your enemies responding, even if you just defeated them. I love how expansive this game is. There are several different planets you get to travel to and many different creatures or enemies you encounter, and there is an incredible amount of detail within each of these worlds. Exploring them can get suspenseful because you have no idea what to expect within each part of the planet you explore. My biggest annoyance on that note is the consistent appearance from the bounty hunters that pop up in the most random or inconvenient of times. I like that there are a ton of secrets or items that you can search for that can either upgrade your skills or your equipment. I do also like that you can customize Cal's outfit, droid, ship, and lightsaber. My biggest complaint about this game is that it does lag quite a bit. I'm not sure if that's just my copy personally, but it's not necessarily a huge issue, but it's weird when a cinematic glitches or lags from time to time. Now other than that, this game definitely fits the bill. It has a great cast, great story, and great music by Gordy Hab and Stephen Barton. And if you haven't played this game, I definitely recommend it. I'm going to give Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 4 out of 5 stars. But what did you think about this game? Did you like it or not a fan? Either way, please comment your thoughts down below and be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed this review. And if you're new and are enjoying my content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button to stay updated for more Star Wars content. Thanks so much, everyone. And until next time, this is Red5, standing by.